Quick calculator. Sometimes during your design, you may need to make some quick calculations. You may need to add, subtract, or just double check your work in general. So let's see what AutoCAD has to offer in order to do that. You can come up here to Utilities under the Home tab and find the Quick Calculator. This is one way to open it up. Let's look at another way. You can come down to the command line and type Quick or Quick Calc and press Enter and also brings up the Quick Calculator as well. You can go ahead and close this. Go ahead and press Control 8 and also bring up the Quick Calculator. Let's see what the Quick Calculator has. Up here, these icons, they start with a clear, clear history, paste the value to command line, get the coordinates, distance between two points, angle of line defined by two points, intersection of two lines defined by four points, and also some help. Well, what about the actual calculator itself? If we expand this, we see we have a number pad, we have scientific, we have unit conversion, as well as some variables. One important variable to note is MEE, which is the midpoint between two endpoints. I'll go ahead and scroll up a bit. The unit conversion can convert a length, an area, a volume, and angular. Let's keep this at length. I'll go ahead and scroll back up. We'll close this out and we'll see what type of units we can convert. We can convert things from centimeters to feet, inches, kilometers, meters, miles, and so forth. Let's go ahead and close scientific as well and we'll close the basic number pad as well. It's also important to note that this is a palette so we can go ahead and dock this to the side. I can right click, we can anchor it left and right, we can have it auto hide, and we can even change the size, move it, and close it. Just like any other palette in AutoCAD. I'll go ahead and close this for now. You can also access the quick calculator of, through another method. I'll go ahead and click line or any of these other commands. I'll specify one point, another point, another point, and at any time during this process, if for some reason you need to access the quick calculator to make a calculation, for example, maybe the distance of your next line needs to be this distance and this distance and divided by two. I'll go ahead and right click and you can access the quick calculator from here. You can go ahead and make any calculations that you need and then just get the coordinates, distance between two points, or any of these other functions as well. Copy it and put it into the command line and there you have your next point. For now I'm going to go ahead and close this. We'll explore how to use a quick calculator through this method a little bit later. Just for now, I want you to know that it's there and you have all those functions needed in case you need to make some quick calculations to double check your work.